May peace of Christ Jesus be with you. Brian Santiago, a witness to synod on youth title Young People, the Faith and Vocational Discernment held in Rome, October 2018, tells her vocation story with the rest of the world. She says, I would like to share that the Lord led me to Rome to seriously discern the consecrated life not just because members of my family are practicing catholics but also thanks to every person who was providence for me on my journey my pastor in sant antonio was one of us and in his proximity i saw a church who embraces and has at heart even the smallest of its members i melted in the presence of this kind of love my catechist did not only speak of rules to follow but also of their personal relationships with Christ which changed my vision of god from judge to father in college i met a consecrated woman who took me seriously and who walked alongside me helping me to pray and grow in my interior life dear brothers and sisters today brian celebrates a life as a christian because a life is profoundly inspired by christ jesus and his followers further preparing herself to be perpetually committed to christ as religious nun she also has become an inspiration to others What does it mean being inspired by God? It is to listen to God who speaks in our hearts and conscience, to be open to the inspiration and the promptings of the Holy Spirit and be available to the mission of God as saints, holy men and women have done throughout Christian history. Fear not, go and do as you have said. said Elijah to Seraphat widow the reading taken from the first book of the kings tells us that the widow happily reached out to Elijah who was in need of food our very life and generous action are deeply inspired by god catechism of the catholic church invites us to follow one's conscience in order we live our lives after the heart of christ himself inspired by his gospel deep within his conscience man discovers a law which he has not laid upon himself but he must obey its voice ever calling him to love to do what is good and to avoid evil sounds in his heart at the right moment for man has in his heart a law inscribed by god his conscience is man's most secret core and his sanctuary There he is alone with God whose voice echoes in its depths. To be open to the inspiration and the promptings of the Holy Spirit, the widows of today's liturgy of the word in the first reading as well as in the gospel were open to God's inspiration. They were moved into action by promptings of the Holy Spirit. As a result, they emptied themselves with whatever they had and offered to the lord everything and jesus said truly i say to you this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury for they all contributed out of their abundance but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had her all living Be available to the mission of God. St Paul says, let each of you look not only to his own interest but also to the interest of others. A life inspired by God is no longer lived for oneself but for others through Christian servanthood. Building communities of love, restoring human dignity to those who have lost it because of social segregation and premeditated violence 
healing the wounds caused by physical pain and mental torture, offering words of consolations to the worried, and finally to be the light, the salt and leaven of Christ in today's world. To do the mission of God, we need to trust the Lord infinitely, just as the widows of today's readings. Let our total life be inspired by Christ and let our every action do the mission of Christ. So that looking into our life, Jesus will tell as he said of the widow. She out of our poverty has put in everything she had, her whole living. Be rooted in Christ. Let your life inspire others. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.